Hola familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. As you guys can see from the title today, I'm doing my next update of Pan the Face Palette. Oh yeah. So excited about this one. You guys have done a great progress on this. I don't know how we're going to continue to do this with the next month. I don't know. I'm starting to like, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Let, let's just get into it before I even jump ahead to, uh, and uh, make you guys speculate stuff. So, but first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with a dash of Project Pan. If that is something that interests you. Subscribe. Join us. And now without further ado, let's get on with this update. Alrighty, you guys. I think... No, no, no. Was it this video? I don't remember if I actually took videos of this last update. I don't remember. I know there was a Project Pan where I forgot to take video and it might have been this one. So I don't know if I have footage of last month. I know I have photos of last month. So if that's the case, you're going to see my last where I stood. So just keeping you guys a heads up. I can't keep my stuff together in my brain. So we're going to start off with the first palette. This is the Cover FX um, Illuminating, the Perfect Light Palette. So in my last update, I don't know again if you're going to see a video or picture, I had hit pan on the cream shade and I had a nice dip on the corresponding powder product. So now that I open this sucker up, this is where we are right now, you guys. So in the close-up, because I know I did a close-up this time, the cream shade is completely gone. It is gone. All you see in here is just a powder residue. And I have hit major pan on this shade right over here. It is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. It's very, very subtle. It's beautiful, but very, very subtle. So this one's all gone. I have a nice little... Uh, pan there going. Now I still have quite a bit of product on this side because I've been concentrating my brush over here. So I still have a lot to go over here. I just started to use this one maybe two, three days ago from me filming this. So I've only used this about three times. So you could see that uh, it, you see swirls, but you don't see much of anything in here. This one is more of the golden -y one. This one's Moonlight, and I do have this as a single in the powder, which is right here. I haven't touched this powder at all, and nor do I intend to touch this one until this one is completely gone. So I anticipate at least to have pan on this one for next month, and I do have it on my face today. Ah, just like I have lipstick on my teeth. So that's where we stand with this one, you guys. We're working on it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll be done. That here, here's, here's my thoughts. Here's why I'm like, eh, about this. I know I'm going to guarantee to finish this off. These two are my issues. This one's taking me a lot. Like, even though this palette is old, this formula is still so good. So it's taking me a little bit to use. So this might linger on towards the fall, which is fine. I don't mind. I just figured I would have finished this up midway through the year, but I don't think I will. I think this will take a little bit longer than June to finish off, but that's okay. I'm just starting to realize how the formula is and the powder ones seem to be a little bit harder for me to pan than the cream one. So I'm just planning on hitting pan on the cream shadow. That's uh, the cream shade. That's my goal for next month. So let's move on to the TARDIS Pro Glow. I'm actually shocked at how clean this still looks because you can see some prints, but it's getting there. So in the last picture or video that I have, I don't know, you guys can see that I hit pan. I actually hit pan on there. And my goal for this month was to kind of use up what was on the side, either one of the corners, on the left side, right side, you know, whichever side I decided that I wanted to use more. And now I know you have a close-up. You can clearly see that I have cleaned off one side of the pan. Even in there, I've been able to get my brush in the edges to be able to clean out what I can from all these edges right over here. So we're halfway done with this. I think that this cream product is gonna last you another two months. So I have a feeling that half of this will be used up this month and then the remainder will be used the following month. So this powder should, or this cream should be done, what are we in, April? No, we're not in April. Oh my goodness, my brain. We're in March, we're about to be in April. So I say by June. May, end of May, June, I should be completely finished with this pan. Just in time for the summer because I have one more liquid bronzer left in my collection that I do want to use up. After I am finished using this up, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Maybe I'll use the cream 
or the powder version of this just to kind of help me out in my double chin situation that it's been happening. So maybe I'll use it for that. I don't know. But right now I'm just concentrating on this and I am doing better at this than I expected to do. Truthfully, I really didn't think I was going to get this far at this point of this project pan. And I'm not using a lot because if I use a ton of this, I will look like deep tan deep tan and I don't even get deep tan naturally so I have to be very careful with how much I use of this but it's so creamy so blendable it's beautiful if they would sell this in a compact on its own I actually would consider purchasing it because I really do like how it looks it looks natural on my skin but it gives me something and I do have it you can kind of see the soft shade that it has like it's really, really pretty. And a lot of you guys agree with me that you love that product. That specific cream product is awesome. All right, so just to recap real quick, I anticipate having half of the half gone by next month and only having a quarter left. And then as far as this one goes, I expect to hit pan on this one right here. And then at least, oh, expand the pan on this one a little bit more. I really want to get this one done because I have a feeling that once May and June come, I'm going to start to see the sun more and that's going to look very ashy on me, including on my skin, like my body. So I'm going to have a hard time using that up if I don't use it now. So I'm really concentrating on trying to finish that one up before the winter ends. Alrighty folks, that is it. That is all I have to say. Quick, easy to the point, you guys. I'm so excited that I am actually seeing progress on this. I didn't expect to see as much progress as I have currently, but that just makes me happy because that means I can get to other palettes a little bit quicker, use them before they go bad. And these are older in my collection and they still are pretty good. So I'm very surprised and I'm not complaining. I do try to take care as much as possible of my makeup so it doesn't go bad too quickly on me and I know that it expires. I know I have a lot. We all have heard it all. I'm just trying to work with it without stressing myself out. So it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put my videos over here for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.